Hi there, this is Carl Irwin, the Common Magician, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at the Common Stack. This is uh, my uh, memorized deck stack that uh, I sell at Penguin Magic. Uh, it is a uh, based on a number of principles that uh, are, I think, somewhat unique uh, as a as a collection of ideas uh, for um, a memorized deck stack. Um, certainly some of the ideas that are involved in this are not entirely original. Uh, little bits and pieces here and there have been uh, pondered by others. Uh, but, it, but, but overall, the concept is fairly unorthodox when it comes to um, memorizing a deck of cards. Um, it's important to recognize the difference between a mem deck and a stack deck, and this is a memorized stack deck. Uh, so this is a, a stack that has been created for a purpose, but in this case, the purpose is memorization. Um, in many cases, a stack is, is created, put together for the purpose of accomplishing certain goals, usually related to various types of effects or a routine. In this case, the stack is created specifically card for card uh, so that it can be memorized uh, very quickly, efficiently, and recalled uh, quickly and efficiently, particularly even after it has not been used. Uh, memory is a perishable skill after all, and if you don't use something uh, with frequency, you can start to forget uh, parts of it. And uh, with this particular stack uh, that is built for memorization, the hope is that uh, learning the principles that make it work together um, and, and the fact that these principles are based on inherent characteristics of the card identities themselves and counting systems that we all use and have used since we were very young. Uh, given that, uh, the hope is that this can be uh, recalled even when it is not used frequently. You can learn it once, uh, you can put a little bit of practice into it, and in a very short period of time you can put it to use, you can walk away from it, and then at a later time, uh, with very little refreshing, if any at all, you can put it back to use again confidently and securely um, and knowing that everything is going to work out. So uh, what I want to do here is just kind of uh, demonstrate uh, uh, just the way that we can use it, uh, the stack, along with some indexing principles that I teach uh, in the Common Stack uh, training, which is uh, now a uh, long form video. It's about two and a half hours of teaching where I go over the original stack, some uses for it. And uh, in particular, I spend some time on uh, indexing concepts, the, uh, ways to index a regular deck of cards uh, that are in stack and particularly with this stack, such that you can access uh, cards without ever really peeking at anything. You don't have to look and peek to see where you're at and gain reference uh, like you do with many other mem deck uh, kind of strategies. Uh, hopefully the goal here is that you can use some indexing principles uh, and, and the cards are still regular cards. You can use the cards for any other effect. They can be mixed up out of stack, used as a reg regular shuffled deck in use. Um, they could even be used to play a game. I don't know that you'd want to do that with your magic cards, but you, you potentially could uh, play a simple card game and uh, the, the cards can still be used uh, with the properties that you uh, create to index them. So um, let's try a couple things here. We're just going to uh, use a second deck of cards here that I have shuffled up and this will serve as our thought of cards. So we'll be figuring card for location and finding them using just open controls, open cuts and counting, uh, just arbitrary kinds of motion uh, that looks very innocent and open uh, to find a card. So let's see, we have here, uh, we have the Nine of Clubs, Nine of Clubs. So uh, we're looking for the Nine of Clubs, and uh, I think we can find it uh, right about here. Nine of Clubs. There's Nine of Clubs. Um, let's try another one. Let's see here. Ten of Spades. Ten of Spades. Um, and I think we have it right here at the break. Ten of spades. Ten of spades. So um, let's try a couple more here.
Two of spades. Two of spades. Two of spades. Right there. And uh, let's try let's try another one here. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. So obviously we can go on and on with this. And the manipulation is so direct, you could do it under patter and talking. Um, very, very simple stuff uh, in a very accessible order to this. Uh, I think it's also worth uh, pointing out uh, that the order has um, a very innocent appearance to it. Uh, so not only, not only can you show it kind of open... Uh, like this, but you could potentially uh, count, you can deal down through cards, and you can see that there's not really any kind of uh, recognizable pattern to it. You have you have groupings and clumps of uh, similar values and uh, changes black and red and not in any kind of uh, suit order that is recognizable for sure. Uh, there's not a, a you know a cyclical sort of appearance to the cards. Uh, you can count through them uh, face up, and even a magician. Uh, certainly because this is so obscure and unknown, at least for now, wouldn't recognize anything in there. Not that that is ever really our goal, is to fool a magician with uh, uh, you know a memorized deck. But um, it just you, you would have to have uh, supernatural level powers of observation, I think, to really recognize uh, that there is anything uh, you know sequential or in order about this. Uh, it's a very, very fair looking kind of stack uh, that is extremely, extremely easy to memorize and recall, again, because of various principles that are inherent to the identities of the cards. And it uses uh, the ways that we generally think about order um, in our everyday lives. So um, that's the common stack. Uh, you can download this at Penguin. You get that uh, main tutorial video, about two and a half hours of instruction on the original uh, concept, including indexing principles. There's an additional uh, video, shorter video, that looks at even more simplifications that can make this uh, considerably more accessible than even the original iteration was. So you have a couple of different variations on the stacking principle. Um, I highly recommend the, uh, um, the simplification. That's what I was using here. Very, very simple and direct. Uh, and then also a PDF document that uh, shows uh, the various forms of the stack, shows the order, gives the rationale uh, for the uh, uh, order, and explains how you can think about uh, the order of the cards and the way that you can uh, reach any particular card. Also, the way that you can think about card to number and number to card. Uh, so that you can do a variety of effects that involve uh, cards at specific locations and the identity of cards at a thought of location. So that is the common stack. Uh, find it again at Penguin Magic. And uh, good luck with this. Happy magicking.